you guys, it is Mary. And I'm Mary. Be right to like, subscribe, share, and comment down below because today we are reviewing Ready to Love. And it's just hard to watch this show at this point. Well, LK and Sharice went out on a dancing date. Well, the men are basically supposed to go ahead and romance all the women. Right, and that's what Tommy has asked for because she said that the women are not really feeling, you know, like feeling as though the men are really trying to even trying to connect romance with them. them and stuff like that. Uh, quite a bit of men in this group wants the women to make the first move. We heard Justice Samson say that, uh, Samson say that, Devin who was here before say that. So a lot of them are wanting these women to make the first move. So and I think it's degenerates. So I'm a king. I'm a king. Well, I don't know what's going on in the dating world. So. I'm happy I'm not in it. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. But um, LJ and Sharice, they went out dancing. He knows how to, and he LJ said, you know, Sharice was not one of his top. I don't think he also was in the right way. He's not feeling Sharice. her. She ain't feeling him. Right. And it was dry. She also is as dry as the Sahara Desert. You, and you know, you even mentioned one thing that you noticed about um, the men also, that they are not looking anyone in the eye. In this particular instance, both of them were not looking at each other in the eye. Um, I don't even know why he bothered to go with her, but anywho. Um, and then Randall and Jamala went to make some candles. Apparently they have been talking quite a bit. We know Randall has three connections. Yeah. You know, Tranika, Kayla, and Jamala. Yes. And he still, ha I still don't know who is his top. But um, he did say he liked Jamala. Jamala reminded him of his mom. And in that she was strong. But he also said his mom has 20 personalities. So, I don't know if he thought... Um, but it is Jamala acts like she's in some high school chick flick. Like, I, do, I don't understand. Like, apparently there's some inside, ju inside joke about olive juice. And when you say it, it sounds like... It looks like you're saying I love you. Right. When you say olive juice. So, I guess it's so, like O L I V E. Olive juice. So, you have I, I in you. the middle. And then the O L V E, which makes... You can scramble it and make love. So. No, they're saying like when you say olive juice, like when you look at your mouth and you say olive juice, oh. it sounds like you're saying I love you. Oh, from someone far back, yes. far away trying to read your lips. Yes. Oh, I see. Orange so, juice. olive, olive, olive juice. Yeah, I'm looking at olive juice. Olive juice. I love olive you. Olive juice. I love you. Oh, yeah, juice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but I see. Thing, oh, okay. So I guess that's, that's, that's their inside joke. Okay. And she's talking. So she decided to name. Um. So she had a little. Um. Was a surprise room at the end of the date, mm -hmm. where she actually got the lady to make them labels named olive juice mm -hmm. for the inside joke. And Randall said he was taken aback. And then she goes and looks him in the eye. She's like, you know, I know it's early, but do you think you could be falling in love? Are yes. you falling in love? Could like, where are you? Me or only time that man looked like girl in the eye. He was yeah. like, yeah. Ah! Jamal, I'm like, how old are we? Are you not a grown ass woman, really? Yeah, Asking him, love, is he falling in love? love? He is dating several other women. You're not the only one, boo. Get your head out the clouds. She should like, be on the Bachelorette because no. ready to love. This particular show is not for marriage. It is for you guys to connect and start dating with each other. Which you can do that when you go to a bar. We even do that when you go to a club. This show is, as I, I find this show pointless. Yeah. Because you, like, everybody is in their 30s, 40s, and some people are even in their 50s. And they're not ready to I just down. think it, it makes no sense. Like, I just feel like, what is the point of this show? Like, this show should really be something that's really serious. Instead of it talking about we're going to date and lead to something. You know, when the, the show first came out, they were talking about, <laughs> getting engaged and marriage right no and then, they never and then did it, like turn and now it's just about leaving here As finding someone who you can vibe with whatever that means and then dating when you leave anywho 
I just thought it was a mess. I honestly, honestly, God thought it was a mess. And, and he was like, him, he doesn't answer the question. He, he said, stuff. well, that's what the vibe's about or whatever. Right. So he doesn't answer it. He kisses her to distract her. Yeah. And she's like, this just solidifies so what we're doing. I know. She was And so I excited. just had to look at the degeneracy and wonder where did we go wrong? Where did this all go wrong? She reminds me of Rachel in The Bachelorette. Where do you like... Did she feel what we are seeing with our own eyes? <laughs> oh, Jamala. Well, she was giddy. Jamala was giddy. Ooh, Randall <laughs> has kissed you, not answered your question, and it has solidified your relationship. I hope your heart doesn't get broken because... Uh, I hope you start to... I, I hope you get the stardust out your eyes and you start putting wearing your contact lenses. Yeah. That's what I hope. <laughs> So, uh, Swayze, I guess, wanted to do like a little group date, so he so invited... So he, he invites Boring Justice. He is as boring as Justice, a dry to piece of toast. Shakira and a Looney. So they're working out, so it's basically jumping on a trampoline or whatever. And yeah. Justice says his back went out or he didn't want to do it. I mean, this man came dressed up like he was a lawyer. Like he was going to church on Easter Sunday. Yeah, he did dress that's like how, he was going to church. Right? That's where, how I he dressed. he didn't want to get dirty. But he was wearing like a white undershirt and he was wearing a white shirt. So he, he didn't look like he wanted to get there. He had all these light colors on. And he like, I ain't getting my clothes dirty. And my thing is, he did not even dress up for a walk in the park, yeah. like at all. Mm -hmm. Like he came dressed up as if he was going somewhere serious. Yeah. And I would just like, you know, I just don't know about, like, I don't know why he's here. Yeah. Sheree is still there and Justice is still there. It just makes me seriously question what the show is about. Yeah. Like, I, know. So, I just thought it was odd. And then he yeah. said that, oh, him and Looney have a good connection. We strengthen it. I know. She looks Looney, bored. Well, Looney kind of has liked Justice, though. I don't know. You Everybody she likes bored. Justice. I thought she yeah. looked a little bit bored. And she was know. trying to force something. Like, yeah, he wasn't see. even con conversating anything. Yeah. She really wasn't saying much either. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, you have a grand opening? Yeah. Like, it's like those surface-level so conversations. the one who he kissed and told... No, that's she was Jamala. No, Jamala. Looney okay. is the girl who really likes Swayze, I think. Okay. She yeah. likes Swayze or she was really feeling him or something. Yeah. I can't well, remember. Swayze, he went to Shakira and Shakira was telling him when she had gotten up from the table that day, she went and cried. And he was like, I didn't know that she had had an emotional event. And right as he said, so I said, Shakira, go at home. <laughs> <laughs> because he looked like, I was like, emotional event. Yeah, I said Shakira going home. My and I was looking forward to her going home because I think Shakira has not healed. We talked about it the last time. She cries like any little thing is going to set Shakira off. It's like her tears are at the surface. You know what I'm saying? She needs yeah. to be home. She needs to heal. She needs to be with her son. And, you know, I she don't need to be dating at all. She doesn't need to be dating at all. She needs to just and have that moment to heal from everything that you've been through. You know, and then later on, she's a lovely person. But you're, yeah, you're just I not love ready, Shakira. Honey. But I feel like ready. you know she was really connecting with Samson. I felt like Samson was he a good really guy. Liked he her, really, really liked her. You could tell. Was but her, her eye eyes. was all on the toxic man in the group. Um, and then on top of that, it's just like she wore her pain on her sleeve. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like she's one of those women who think that a man is supposed to come in and, and just heal and save and all this yeah, stuff. Like a knight in and shiny armor. Take away all her pain. <sighs> like when I marry him, I will be, I will feel so good. I used to be that same way, honey. So I understand. But what I learned was that you have to heal you first you bringing someone in and expecting them to heal you that's way too much burden on that person and the relationship and the thing is you don't give the relationship room to grow and no, blossom don't. instead of it you hinder it down yeah instead of it really just flourish flourishing yeah absolutely. you know so i think that's the issue with her mm -hmm. and i feel like you know she just talks about it so much she that really she does. really needs to get be in intensive therapy, yeah. you know. And I feel bad that yeah. she had to go home, which I mean, she did end up going home. It was between Sheree and Shakira. Yeah, I, I was so I relieved. was shocked Sheree is there again. Yeah, like, was I was so like, bad. how does this girl 
I don't think she has a, sh a connection with anyone. I mean, I think the only like person she... she has a connection with maybe Samson. I think she, they both said that they were biracial. I just think she's maybe really boring and she's not really into anybody. I feel I like Samson, so. but I feel like Samson now, he is all over the place. Yeah. And now I don't even know how to feel about him, but you know yeah. I didn't like him really from the beginning. Because he not. was like, a woman needs to pursue me. Any yeah. man that comes into my face and tells yeah, me I need to pursue him, pursue him, yeah. I'm sorry, I, I signed up to date a man, not a woman. Yeah, Next. That, that's, yeah, that's why from the beginning I wasn't really feeling him. He was saying I was all feeling the right him after things. Shakira. Yeah, he was but saying then, all the right things, but there was something that I just, I was just, I called him. There was something since, I, I just called him. Since we're talking about Samson anyway, mm -hmm. he goes on a date with Brandy. Yes. And that was, he talked about his Colombian girlfriend. I know, she asked Who provided him. a safe space for him to be vulnerable. But this he is says what this she to asked. a black woman. This is what. <laughs> she asked what your last uh, relationship was like. She didn't say. Is, she didn't ask exactly. about the race. She didn't she, ask about what she did for you. I know, she didn't she ask looked, any of that. Yeah, I felt like it was all passive she, aggressive. All she asked was, "What was the last romantic thing you did for your girlfriend or woman?" No, or no, no, no. That was what Sheree asked him. What she asked him was like, "When was the last time you were in a relationship?" And he says, oh, "The what okay. we, He said, "Well, do you mean the last time I was in love, or do you mean the last time I was in a relationship?" So he goes and he corrects what she asked him. So she said, the last "No, time she you said, what? When was the last time you were in a relationship?" Uh -huh. He said, "The last time I was in a relationship, or the last time I was in love." Uh -huh. And she said, mm. "Okay." And then he said, "Well, you know." I, you know, my ex girlfriend. She was a she was a Colombian girl. You know, she was really nice and sweet. She what I really liked about her is that she was very vulnerable and open to me, and I was able to have a safe space for me to be vulnerable and open. Anyway. I just thought he was trying to automatically put her in her place and go with that stereotype that black women are aggressive they're not so, vulnerable yeah so he was trying to tell her what i liked about my colombian girlfriend who I was not black and yeah. what i expect is from that you, you will be a um a safe place for me place. to fall mm. you a woman or are you a man so anywho brandy is 35 years old and she says she has never been in a real relationship that was you was could like, wow. I, you know I, I'm I've not shocked. Never I'm a real not shocked because the way she like, wow. latched all herself onto Mike, Mike I'm yeah. not surprised. I'm not surprised. Wasn't she one of the ones who was doing all that twerking? She was lap dancing for him and all this stuff. <sighs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm honest yeah. to God, don't know what's going on with this show, man. Well, let's go to Mike and Kayla. What did you think? He said he liked Kayla because of her strong personality. However, he said that he was still, you know, thinking about Brandy. Yeah. And Kayla says that Mike is her strongest connection. Who? That's what Kayla Brandy, said. Mike is her strongest connection. Yeah, that's what Kayla said. Oh, my God. Yeah. Now, Mike, for some, you know, first he puts his head against her hip. As he's playing the pool. And she's like blocking then, his view. Yeah, and then... And then I guess they had a bet where they were like supposed to... Whoever loses has to kiss, kiss. the other person. Right, right. And, and so, then he, I guess he tried to go in and kiss her. Yeah. And I but guess... he kisses her on no, the cheek. He, well, what he, he said says, first is, you know, if I'm kissing you, I don't want nobody else kissing my lips. I don't lips. want other guys' lips on my lips. That's what he said. Yes. I don't want another guy's lips on my lips. So saying that you now belong to him if yeah. I kiss you. Yeah, but You're these, dating but these Brandy. Are my lips, and I don't want you kissing any other guys if I'm going to kiss you. And he didn't kiss her on the lips. He kissed her on the cheek because he didn't, because I guess she hasn't claimed him completely. But like she says, you know, you're doing the he, same thing with Brandy. Like you haven't claimed me. You know what I'm saying? And you wanted to be out here looking crazy. So you want to have two women fighting yeah. over you and committed to you. And later on, he tells her, he's like, my uh -oh. kiss, when he sees her off, he kisses her on the cheek again. And he's like, my kiss will be waiting for you or something. You are a degenerate. Go sit your ass down. I just felt he was I'm just like... a little bit aggressive when he was like kissing her on the cheek. And then my and... thing is you want her to be know. out here looking stupid while you are here with another woman you know, who Brandy has basically said that you're her boyfriend, yeah. has claimed you, 
and you want her to now sit here and like erase all her connections to yeah. be with you i'm sorry standard. you yeah. are not that cute and you're not worth that you have not put a ring on this finger you have not even erased brandy out the picture and you want me to be sitting here like a dodo bird Saying, say, he's mine. Okay, baby, kiss my lips. No other man gonna kiss my lips. We ain't in high school, Mike. Get 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 your head out but your But just the fact end. that he said that, I was just like, mm, I, I never liked know. Mike. You know, I honestly don't like anybody. I don't like any of the men on the show. I don't. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anybody that I... There's nobody decent. <sighs> and at this point, Ready yeah. to Love, y'all should really cancel this show. Because you guys have 30 and 40 and 50 year olds looking the plum fool. Y'all yeah. should be at the point in your life where you're ready to settle yeah, down. Settle not down sit down, sometimes. not sit here and say we're going to be playing boyfriend, girlfriend for another 10 years. Yeah. It's foolishness. It's actual yeah. foolishness. And I would love to see Own actually have a show that represents actual love. Like, yeah. I would love to see Sierra yeah. and Russell Wilson, yeah. maybe Oprah and Stedman on the show. You know, Where are really the nice. people with real, genuine yeah. love? That's Denzel what I would like to see. Wife. Yes. Yeah. People who Those haven't been together for a while. Relationships where people have not had to suffer yeah. to get good love. Yeah. That's what I would like to see. Not this stuff of grown men mistreating women, yelling at women, cussing them out. And saying that don't kiss any other man, be controlling. Like, y'all actually embarrass the race. I'm sorry. <laughs> I said what I said. That's what I mean. It's embarrassing. Yeah, I wish that From a 24 year old, people, I find this embarrassing. Yeah, I wish to have people who are really just serious about settling down. That would be nice to watch. But it just seems as though they're bringing people in who have said some odd things. I don't know if it's for the drama, whether it's for the ratings, or I don't know. But anyhow... Uh, Sometimes it has to stop being about the ratings. Yeah. Like, where is Ayanla? I would love to have that show back on. Honestly. I know. I know Ayanla is done. She she needs time for herself now. But Sharice, Tranika, Swayze, Samson, and Kadian, and Mike, um, they all went on a group date, and they went skating. And Sharice was asking, this is when she was asking Samson, what was the most, uh, what was the most romantic stuff you've done on a date? And he said he took his girl to Paris. He doesn't have kids, does he? I have no idea. I, I don't think so. I haven't heard him say anything. Well, Sheree don't want kids. Yeah. Um, so I don't think it'll be a good match. And then also Samson, I think he was talking about how she gets him hot and bothered. Now he got um, distracted by the booty. That when I think he was, I, I don't really think skating. he was looking at Sharice. I don't think he was looking at her. Well, I they think said he was that looking though. at Tranika. That's what Tranika says. So you know, she said to him because they were behind. Sheree them. doesn't really have a bottom, so I don't know how he would be distracted. Think so. I, think, I just think either he just fell or <laughs> he was looking at Tranika. That's what I think. So I mean, don't even fall for that. Whose but, booty do you think Samson was looking at? Y'all comment down below. Because we're watching the yeah. bootleg version on YouTube, so we can't really see what's going on. Yeah. But, but yeah, um, Sharice was saying that um, Samson said to her that anybody that he's with, yeah, that he wants to have a relationship with that woman's dad. You know, he was raised yeah. by his mom. I don't know if his father passed away or something, but he was raised by his mom, so Sharice was telling him, hey. You know, for a person a, who um who, grew up without a dad you've actually turned out good right she shade shade yeah I'm straight not, up shade <laughs> really <laughs> yes I mean, really I, just, I, just, I just, thought it was shade i but, but i think you know why i think it's shade felt, though i felt like you still don't know him yet i don't know how how many conversations they have i don't had know how many times we're phone, going to compliment to men that have not proven themselves but i just felt like you know get a little bit of time to really know this guy um and then katie and, and i think it was katie and swayze yes katie and swayze was sitting down and he was talking to her and she asked him what do you like about me and he was saying all this stuff but then Who he said that katie asked swayze what do you like about me and swayze he said all these good things about her but then he says you talk too much and then she says i don't talk too much you talk too much and she made it kind of like <laughs> like a joke and then she also asked him she said what was the mistake that you made in your last relationship but he was talking about what his job he used to bring his job home which i think is an easy one to say you know like 
You know, it's kind of like when you are in an interview and they ask you, what what are some of your worst qualities that you have to work on? And I work say, too hard. Yes. <laughs> I never take a break. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I work long hours. It just hours. seemed like he gave one of those answers. I was just like, okay. And she was saying that she really wants him to try to be vulnerable. I'm like, hey, then ah. you're not even vulnerable. You are actually yeah. very mean. So I, I don't know what you expect from a man to do for you. I don't know. Especially when you're sitting there stabbing your sisters in the in the neck. Yeah. Well, what do you think about Tommy's meeting with everybody? I thought it was so shady. And, um, I thought it was so shady. That he's like, we need to clear the air, everybody, and come together and talk. Who wants to talk about the who, bull? Who wants to, who wants to uh, talk first about the BS and address the BS? And Jamala immediately goes and rats out Randall. I know how you Rara. are with me. I know how you are rah rah with me. But, you know, I feel like you're playing the fence. You need to sit down. You need to make a decision. Are we in week four? What decision does he have to make? <laughs> it's too much, man. Like, that's why I say she is like stuck in this high school mentality. Because I'm like, why would you say he needs to make a decision? Mm -hmm. And all of this is an olive juice moment, meaning that this is a I love you moment. And now you want to go and rat him out. So now you're like upset because maybe he stopped maybe texting he call, you. Exactly. He probably didn't call you because he realized, oh, she crazy. She trying to get attached to me like some like some virgin. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, okay, I can't do this. So she's probably Usually, upset. I don't even think the virgin's attached to anybody. Yeah, typically that's not even true. They're trying to hold on to the virginity. <laughs> they ain't trying to attach to nobody. You know, but that's just yeah. the vibe she was giving. She was yeah. like, you know, oh, well, you said, basically, you say you love me by saying olive juice, but you really didn't say it. No. Um, and now it's like, you need to make a decision because you probably haven't called me in four or five days. You play the fence. You play the fence. Mm -hmm. Go sit yourself down. Uh, you acting crazy, Jamala. This is really ridiculous. And then what do you think about doing with Shakira? Like she brought it up Katie again. basically cussed that girl out and said, bitch, please, or whatever, yeah. stuff like that. Which I thought, Sh Shakira. I, mean, she, um, I don't think she cursed her. She did. Oh, but she did. Um, Shakira was in the other room. That's what oh. she called it, the B word. Oh, wow. Um, But my thing is, Shakira, first I want to get with Katie in. You, do you think any man seriously going to take you seriously as so. you're sitting as there you cussing her, her out to be so to myself, I said, next time, I bet she is on, why don't we make a bet? Next time, I think she's going to be on the on the chopping block, Katie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like it was just so mean. Yeah. You could have just been Very like, you know. spirited like I she doesn't want to apologize. Like, all. refuses. To, like, how do you yeah. think? No it, accountability. Like, how do you think it's going to be when, you, be when you get into a relationship with a man? Yeah. Men usually do not apologize. Yeah. And you can't even apologize to your... Well, I'm sure she would apologize to a man. Because she, she'd rather be on a man's side than her sister's side. Yeah. You could have just been like, you know, I apologize. I should not have done that. Yeah. Also, okay. Shakira, my old theme was with Shakira. If it was, I know she was upset because she's like, you know, women don't do that to women. Um, It's kind of historically known that... um. Women really don't be taking women's side. Like yeah. it's so unfortunate. I really yeah, wish is. that wasn't the case. Yeah. But that's how it is in most cases. Women are you know? like I always say women are like blacks and uh Democrats. They never have each other's back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it is it is what it is though. It's very true. You know So Shakira, I don't know what you were Black expecting. People will rather have another racist side than Stand for your brother and sister. That's yeah. how it is. The same thing with Democrats. Democrats will never stick together like the Republicans. The same thing with women. Stab each other in the back. In the neck. Always taking whatever the man say, you take his side. As law. Against your own woman's sister. Craziness. Yeah. But, you know, I just felt like, you Tell know, Shakira. what you think. Are women just like black people and Democrats, because that's what I think. Yeah. Tell us what you think, and if you don't think that, why or why not? Yes. Let's 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 seriously talk about this, y'all. Mm -hmm. But also, be I just like, women. Yeah. We've got to be better as women and as black people. Yeah. And as Democrats, for those who are Democrats out there. Yeah, you can never get anything done with a Democrat in power. Yeah. Um, because they but, fight each other too much. Look. Anyway, but <laughs> let me not get political. Now you're being into politics. Whereas the but, Republicans, they say this and they rally. Boom. 
with themselves get things done yeah but that's the thing you know i just felt like katie you could just apologize shikara though i feel like this is why you don't know these women. They're not your best friends. You should be feeling out energy. I know. Uh, you would tell from Sheree and Kadian, they got mental issues. <laughs> so for you to go and say, let me go tell They're them all my harsh. business and my very personal stuff yeah. on TV. On TV. Um, you should saying. not have done that. And then you made like, a, I mean, it is huge to you, you know. Yeah. But my thing is. Give me an opportunity to tell my to tell my secrets. You just said it on television. The world saw. That's why I'm sure Katie was like that. But Shakira, you just have to hold your secrets closer to your heart. You can't trust everybody. Oh, As most of the time, you know, oh, unfortunately, God. not women and not men either. Yeah. Um, you see that between your mama or whoever family member you're close to yeah. and God. And you take it to your you grave. Yourself That's what you. I say. Be like Beyonce. Keep it to you, yourself, and you. I got me, myself, and that. That's all I got in the end. That's what I found out. And it ain't no need to cry. I took a vow that for now on. Now on. I'm gonna be my own best friend. But yes, so. But I'm happy you're gone. But you. You need a heal. And you needed your son. Yourself, exactly. Yeah. Talk about him a lot. And then also, you know, I just felt the whole thing. It was just really sad. I felt like Katie and. Um, you didn't have to call her the B word. You just didn't. That that was so unnecessary on so I many totally levels. Totally missed that. Yeah, yeah. She because she as said. As soon as she started to yell, I was I just checked you know, out. I just checked out. <laughs> I said, "Oh boy, not this again." I I just can't. It was just straight <sighs> up embarrassing. Yep. Embarrassing. Mm -hmm. But, okay, so wait, so, but yes, the men decided that to keep Sheree, who is not even that pretty, who is dry and is actually very mean-spirited, they decided to keep her over lovely Shakira, who has a couple of pains, pains that she has to deal with. How Sheree is still there, she has not made one connection, baffles me. But y'all got rid of her as soon as she showed that she had, um... Some pain. At least yeah. she was vulnerable. Y'all yeah. always talk about how oh black women need to be vulnerable, this that and the third. But as soon as she decides to be vulnerable, y'all kick her ass to the curb. But so you keep well, Sheree I can't handle emotions. But you keep Sheree who is not that pretty, who has not made any connection with anybody, yeah. and who is very dry. You mm -hmm. decide to keep her. Odd. But you know, I, I don't want to say Yeah. Anywho. You know, anyway, I'm not even going I'm not even gonna say nothing. Mm -hmm. I, you know, they it was this episode was disappointed. Yeah, I was happy Shakira was gone. She needs to go home, I but just, let her just go. There's nobody really this there for her anyway. The I don't even think Samson was there. It will just bring her more heartache. Somebody to add to the trauma that she already has. Yeah, yeah. Somebody is going to find you one day, Shakira, and it's going to be beautiful. She's beautiful. She is a beautiful woman. Beautiful. She has a beautiful spirit. Yes. But you have to heal that boot, or you're yes, going to get some jackass in your life again. And the you're last thing you want another asshole and you don't want that yeah just you and your son don't need that absolutely and not. none of those men were about anything and that's probably why many, god removed you so early many men who are there in the billions who are there for you and that person is going to be perfect for you you focus yeah. on yourself for now and your son and i know you'll continue to be a wonderful mother yeah you know just take your time and let the man now seek you and pray okay yeah you're gonna find your russell wilson you, will. you sure you will, will. Mm -hmm. but yeah you guys it's mary and i'm be right to like subscribe share and comment down below <laughs>